hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Slumber Party Cinema Show. I'm your host, Kyle Gregory, and today we have the honor of showing another film from Nathan Thomas. You might have remembered him from EP, written and directed by. This one is just directed by. But before I introduce him, we show the film, you already know, I have to bring in my friends. My co-host, Michael Blunt, Jay Conley. Here we go. Woo! Welcome. Hey. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Um, got my popcorn per usual. Got the gold PJ today again. Here we are. Take some popcorn. I'm excited to show this one. Uh, just a little warning about this one. Uh, you will see a familiar face. You talking Ooh. about? Let's just talk about it. <laughs> Come on. Who are we gonna see? Let's sit down. Oh, talk right. about the film. Yeah. Talk a little bit about the Witch of Bridge Street. As oh, always, I know, uh, you want some popcorn? Yeah, so that's me? what we're seeing, The Witch of Bridge Street, huh? We are, yes. So, it is another film Great. from the Salem Cinematic Universe. Oh. Um, as we know, we film in Salem, we're live in Salem, we're all from Salem, and so we love to show some love to our Salem peeps, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, and so we have The Witch of Bridge Street, which is directed by Nathan Thomas, who also wrote and directed EP, which is the wild doozy of a film that we saw with the mm -hmm. lights and Jacqueline and Paulo with mm -hmm. the crazy voiceover. Mm -hmm. Wild doozy. Um, that was a crazy I, film. <laughs> <laughs> it was a wild doozy. <laughs> yeah, this one uh, is is still in the horror genre, but it is, I like to say, it's a comedy horror. It's got a lot of uh, heart to it. It's got some humor in it. Hmm. Uh, a it's homedy? a whole, it's a homedy. A horomedy? A horomedy? A horomedy? A homedy. Oh, what about a, a core? A homedy? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll I, think about that later. Yeah, and so this one, uh, we actually filmed on location in Salem too, so that's actually oh. really fun. Oh, and we'll see a lot know, of familiar places. We we'll see a lot of familiar places, mm -hmm. we we'll see a lot of familiar faces maybe, but you already know what we're going to do, right? We might as well just jump right into the film per usual, All that right. way we can get into it and the audience kind of understands what we're talking about. I'm going to eat my popcorn, oh, I'm going to give yes. you some. Yes please. Here you go. Thank you. Take a little popcorn from oh, the film. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go. Got your handful? Uh huh. Honestly, this is gonna be a treat. I'm super excited for this film. And so, without further ado, The Witch of Bridge Street. Mm. Oh, what's going on, everyone? Mick here, driving to Salem right now. Oh, we're almost there. Getting excited. All oh, people follow me know what this mission is about. It's to find a sexy witch. I can't wait to find a witch. Here I am at the witch cemetery. These were all witches. Every single one in here was burned alive, buried back in 1477. It's amazing that I'm actually standing here right now. Buddy, can you take a selfie? All right, ready? One, two. Oh. Kodo. Sushi place by day, but everyone knows by nighttime, Bridge Street Alley. If you know, you know. Mick knows. Mick knows everything. No trespassing, but we're going in. From his Bridge Street Alley. That's what I'm talking about. What do we know about it? Oh, what's going on, everyone? Here we are, the infamous Bridge Street Alley. Oh, everyone's already decked out. Look at this. Oh, hey, 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 let's take a selfie. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, sick. Halloween is different in Salem. Oh, look at this guy. The muscle madman in the corner. Oh, scary. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Charming everyone in the <laughs> Yeah, I try. I try. It's for the followers. For the followers. followers. Influencer yeah. here. Yep. Never would have guessed. Yeah, good. I'd like a drink. Okay. Uh, Let me guess. Vodka this. What? Gin and tonic. How'd you Gin know? Gin and tonic, yeah. Are you a witch? And if you are a witch, are you a good witch or are you a bad witch? Uh, what kind of witch are you looking for? Actually, I'm looking for a real Salem witch. Yeah, not one of those fake ones like downtown, but you know, ones that were descended from the witch trials. Ugh. Thank 
Tune. So what exactly are you doing here? Well, I wouldn't want to go where all the tourists were and miss out on the real attractions. <laughs> A tourist who hates tourists? How original. Hey, now. I like to consider myself a history lover, if you will. So what exactly are you doing here? Well, one of my followers told me to come here. He said to come to the infamous Bridge Street Alley. He said this is where all the witches were burned back in the day. And I'm hoping to find a real Salem witch. <laughs> Did you tell a real one from a fake one? Oh, yeah. They have... So much pain, history. It's like women have been oppressed for so long that witches are the modern feminists, if that makes sense, you know? Well, if you can keep a secret. You? No, no, I would totally know. But maybe you can convince me. Let's take a selfie for my followers, huh? You know what? I actually, I have a better idea. I was thinking of heading back to my place if, if you wanted to walk me there. <laughs> Absolutely. Level. Just lie down and let me do everything. Oh, maybe there really is a such thing as a love spell. When they cook. <laughs> Almost time to go. Yeah. Have to hit the road soon. But let's be honest. It's not like we're gonna see each other after today. No, we're not. But at least I can tell all my followers I hooked up with the real Salem witch. And all I had to do was pretend I gave a shit about witchcraft. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, I never got your name. Doesn't matter. I'll just call you the witch on Bridge Street. Oh, this is totally gonna go viral. So what are you making for breakfast? You thought I was making you breakfast? You're not the sharpest tool in the shed now, are you?
bet you didn't notice when I took just a little bit of your hair last night, did you, boy? Hmm? And that you're getting ever so smaller now? For generations, my sisters have died at the hands of men like you. Men whose fear and hatred infest my paradise. Your life means nothing. You're an affliction, a scourge. You deserve to be put down. What am I supposed to do with such vermin? I have to bring you down to size. Thank you. Hello. Top of the morning, sunshine. Oh, look at that. That's pretty gross, actually. <laughs> Sorry about that. Poor bastard. So, what exactly are you doing here? Familiar face. <laughs> no. Is. Who? It's not mine. Definitely wasn't my face. That wasn't me. 100% positively was not me. That was Mick. Mick knows everything. But I bet you if Mick came here, he would know. He would be the one giving you the answers. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Sounds no, good. That, I that, it. God, I that was great. Good, yeah, good job. I thank thought you. I thought you did a really good job. I don't know. There was something I've never really seen you play that kind of character before. Kind of just like so, uh, so confident. <laughs> it's you not know, to a fault. Like so confident in a very obviously <laughs> terrible situation that just, you put yourself in. Just like, like totally Oof. walked into something that you just had no idea what the fuck you're getting yourself yeah, into. Yeah, yeah. It, it was funny too because when I was playing that one, um, I actually it wasn't until we rolled like two minutes before we rolled that I actually finally said, "Okay, embrace this." I'm not the biggest social media guy. I try to post things more often. Um, I try to be, like, I'm not an influencer uh, at all. I don't feel like that lives in me. And I remember it was like five minutes before we went on and I was like still walking around a little timid. We had the full bar. That was the first scene that we filmed was the full bar. And I was like, oh, I really have to just commit to this. And mm -hmm. I remember just like taking like a deep breath and I said, just go for it. Yeah. Just, just roll. Yeah. Start filming. Have some fun. Yeah, influencers have that type A personality where it's just like everything they do is just like, 
they think everything they touch turns to gold. Basically, that main it was character just character energy. Yeah, yeah. it's just yeah. like yeah, they are the main character of their own story. And yes, and that was what was hard tapping into was being the main character of that story because I was fine when I was not with anyone. Like when we just did a couple things where it was just me behind the scenes and my phone and stuff like that, or when I was rehearsing at home, I was good. But then the moment I had like that entire room full of people, I was like, this is not who I am. Uh, okay, right. I guess I'll just roll. I guess yeah. I'll just do this. Yeah, but but major interaction with uh, with you, the female lead, yes. you know, like the, 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 the difference between the two of you was Ooh. great because you could tell who was truly confident yes. and who was sort of, who was controlling the situation, the uh -huh. one who had no idea. It was a very great relationship. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and she it was very clear. walks in and steps on that roach and it like pans out and we see who she is. Whoo! Then yeah. it's like, oh, yeah. Terrifying. Yeah, I, I, I got a little more than I bargained for. Yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, I, you know, I would like to talk about, I'd like to talk about me a little bit more often. Um, <laughs> but I, let's instead of so we don't have to direct the conversation too much about my character and stuff like that, you already know <coughs> we're going to bring him in. Let's bring in Nathan Allen Thomas. Come on yeah. in, my friend. There we go. Hello. Hello. Yeah, buddy. Hello. Here we go. Ooh. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, you get the frog. You get a double hug from us. We welcome, welcome. Hug. Oh, we double oh, hug. You want to hug? Oh. Hugs around. We hug off. Hugs, hug hugs all hug day around. Long. We uh, double hugging. We were we were just talking. Welcome to the slumber party. Thank you. It's we, good we to be are, here. We're, yeah, we're glad you're here. Yeah. Um, another Salem Salem person here sitting on the couch. Some slumber party stuff. There's quite a lot of us, man. I mean, yeah. you're, gonna be, you're gonna have episodes for days. Episodes for days for sure. Now we jump right into the film, right? Mm. But we don't usually do that. I have to ask. I always want to know. What's your favorite film? Let's just get right into it. My favorite film is actually not a horror film at all. It's uh, Back to the Future. Back? Oh. Oh. Hell okay. Yeah. yeah. That's a good that's solid, a great solid. one. Yeah. Back to yeah. the Future. Yeah. Back to the Future is amazing. Solid choice. Probably Everything like, about Back to the Future is great. Yeah. I was um, probably like six years old when I saw it. Oh. I was obsessed. Dang. Absolutely obsessed. So, how many? Do you know how many times you've possibly seen that? In my life? Yeah. Oh, too many. Too many. <laughs> too, way too many. Out of these three, though, which one is your favorite? First one. The first one. Yeah, I mean, when yeah. I was a kid, when I was a kid, the second one. But then when you rewatch the second one as an adult, you're like, this one's kind of messed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one's real dark. We got real dark, for real. Dark. Yeah. Is there anything about? Like, I love that the cars. Film? The cars are nice. <laughs> Is there anything about the film that speaks yeah, to you? Yeah. That... So when I was when I was younger, I used to like I used to recreate the uh, I used to recreate the time machine taking off. Okay. And as a kid, I would always recreate that audio editing. The mm. ch -ch -ch -ch. I didn't realize at the time, but I was kind of. Uh, developing this ear for how audio editing happens in movies. And that movie, I mean, that movie won, won the Academy Award. It's the only Academy Award it won for. And that, I mean, the audio editing is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. The audio, huh? Mm -hmm. Every, I didn't know it was, that. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's incredible. No, I mean, you know, the car door opens, it goes, <laughs> and all, you, all this stuff kicks on. I mean, the flex capacitor is flexing, you know? Do you have a DeLorean? It's running. <laughs> the engine's running. Do you have a DeLorean? I wish. <laughs> I got a little miniature DeLorean. Yeah, no kidding. I do have a, I do have the script in my house. I have it all autographed. No, that's cool. Yeah. Right. Buy a bunch of them. Or? Yeah, yeah. Michael J. Fox and uh, Christopher Lloyd. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was a straight up nerd. Yeah. Big no, that's nerd. not nerd. That's a that's good nerd though. No, I was. We I love was, that. We're all nerds. That's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. 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 I'm a collector, so like, yeah. I, I collect so a lot. So you of, get like, it. Yeah, you I get collect it. like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, some Nickelodeon, a lot of Nickelodeon stuff. Um, but I could imagine that having that script is pretty cool. So speaking of Nickelodeon, not to, not to veer too far off of what. Yep. This, um, you remember? Uh, <laughs> do you remember the uh, the pre-episode shows they used to put on? Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, you remember the? Um, oh my God, I'm, I'm forgetting the word for it. It was uh, slime time. Slime, slime time life. I wish well, it was actually, slime time here. I was slime time. You were on slime time. <laughs> were you? Yo, yeah. I was too. Oh, that's insane. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Both of you were on slime yeah, time. Yo, that's like a one in a trillion shot. Yeah, yeah. We are two of them in a. Because they only did that for like three year. years. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's wild. wild. Yeah. That is wild. That's awesome. Well, we, we slime. This is funny that it kind of is a good segment because I always now that we're bringing it back to the film, we got a slimy cockroach. That's fair. Right? Yeah. So there's a oh slimy. yeah, the cockroach. A segue, right, it's a uh, so at first, like, how did you find the script? Did the script find you? Did you know Luke? Uh, Luke Saint Germain. Yeah. Luke, so do you Luke know actually? Luke? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I met him through SATV. He was a member of the board. And I work here, of course. And um, and shout out to SATV and Adam Cook and just kind of trying not to Cook. pay attention to me over there, yeah. <laughs> and Steve obviously running everything because he's the real boss. <laughs> um, and Luke Saint Germain yeah, yeah. was the director of Face Crusher for yes. those. Yeah, yeah, Face just Crusher too. Quick and reminder right there. Yep. Yes. Yeah, it was awesome. But anyway, he he had this he had this script. It had just won uh, best script at. Um, 
at a film festival and he was like hey I, I want you to read this and I, I don't know if I can direct it because I haven't tried to direct anything to this scale yet mm -hmm. um, and I was like sure yeah I took, took a look at it um, and immediately just kind of fell in love with it you know yeah, yeah. What part of the script did spoke to you? I know sometimes it's because uh, there's some scripts you'll get as a director, and you're like, "This is not for me." This right, is, right, you know right. what I mean? Um, I, I was able to see her vendetta mm -hmm. like immediately, you know. Mm -hmm. And to me, you, you kind of, you kind of, it was a, it was quite a vendetta. <laughs> um, you, you read, you're reading into her her character, and you're realizing that she's got all this pain and this hurt and this mm -hmm. hatred, and it's on the it's it's on the surface. You can kind of mm -hmm. tell immediately. However, it's never really mentioned. Mm. too much mm -hmm. in the script itself and I felt like uh, part of my part of the fun in directing that would be able to kind of pull it out for us to see mm. because everything that she sees in the mid character right she sees the the false information yep right she sees him not knowing what the hell 1477 heck he's about, <laughs> right not knowing what the heck he's talking about 1477 and um, and realizing that this kind of misinformation is what led to the witch trials, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, so it's just gonna keep building and building and the fear is just gonna keep building and building. It's, and it's his kind that's been perpetuating it for years. Yeah. And so of course she would seek you out. <laughs> <laughs> How could she not? How could she not, right? <laughs> the constant filming and stuff like that. Yeah, so that yeah, was, yeah. Uh, and, and not because I played the role or anything like that, but mm -hmm. what, what were you looking for when you read the Mick character though? Because so, that could have went so many different yeah. ways. So the Mick character, when I first read it in the original script, he was a he was I don't want to say he was a generic. Uh, he was a he was not a not a generic character, but I knew that I needed him to be either a tour guide mm. or one of my favorites is a social media personality who comes in and he's teaching the history of all of these cities, <laughs> not knowing what he's talking about, just just you know. Uh, making it up as he goes along and that does happen I mean it if you're does. walking around town that was one of the things that like immediately led me to that you know that yeah. change <laughs> is you're walking around and you're hearing these tour guys just make up anything yeah. <laughs> come up with is this building a vampire lift you know I'm like uh, that yeah. building was built like three years ago oh yeah I work at Old Town Hall so every once in a while tours yeah. come around that building and I would sit outside sometimes doing some writing while I'm just watching the building yeah and some of the things I hear I'm like that happened here? It comes yeah. to you. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's a really it. strong choice because yeah. even just on the internet, it's there's a lot of misinformation. Yeah. So it's a perfect choice to have well, someone yes. like yes. with that personality yeah. to use the internet because it's yeah. very topical. Yeah, it was of mm -hmm. the moment. Yeah. Yeah, it felt like he was like on his way there on like the bus ride in. He's like yeah. looking up Wikipedia and then just deciding what yeah. he's gonna talk and about. And then he on sees the video. he sees the Salem sign and he goes, Whoa. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh. It's, it's oh. Clear, clearly, he knows what he wants, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, gets a little more than he bargained for, yeah. and per se. Yeah. Um, did you always know? Did you have any say in like a final draft? Did you work with Luke to like change some things as the mm -hmm. director? Like, was it always a cockroach? Was it like a different type? Of yeah, thing? it was. It was always a cockroach that she turned him into. Um, like I said, I changed. I changed the Mick character a little bit, um, and I changed some of her. Uh, I changed some of her dialogue at the end. Originally, there was almost no dialogue mm. at the end, and I, I wanted her to kind of show and explain why she had to to bring him down to size. Mm -hmm. You know, like you are this infestation, you are this cockroach. Yes. And I, someone needs to eradicate you, mm -hmm. or you're going to destroy this area. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I have to be responsible because no one else will. Yeah. So was that the monologue when I'm in the chair? Yes. And like so. Yes, oh, so that was not originally yeah. there. That was just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, some of it was. Some of it. I had. I had talked it over with Hallie, and Hallie's mm -hmm. amazing. Um, just in general, and uh, I talked it over with Hallie, and I. I kind of came up with some ideas, and she fell in love with it immediately, mm -hmm. and kind of fleshed the rest of it out herself, and kind of put her own spin on it. Yeah. To make it real, you know, because yeah. I feel like, I feel like that is kind of the beauty of my job is. Um, I don't act for you. I'm not supposed to either. Of course, right? And yep. so I know that you have this character. I give this character to you, and you create that character. Yep. And I get the I get I get to be lucky enough to put it in the vehicle. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you did a great job with guiding me. I liked that you had we had a great relationship on set where it's like you allowed yeah. me to make the choices, but you always guided them in the yeah. the, the way they, that they needed to go. It's got to be free, you know. You yeah. Gotta, yeah. It's got to be a lot of fun. You gotta have a lot of fun while you're doing it, or else I feel like you're just gonna freeze up. You sure will, sure will. Yeah. And as an actor, of course, if you're telling me to make choices based off how you see the character, yeah. then sometimes it feels like it's not how I am interpreting things. And obviously, there's like a balance and stuff like that, but it could lead to a direction that I don't even believe in, or it doesn't feel yeah. truthful to me. Yeah. And that's why we had a lot of talk 
talks beforehand. We met at the coffee shop. We talked mm-hmm. about how much douche, <laughs> you know, yeah. do I bring yeah. to yeah. it? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, how, much, what we level, did, how many times? Are you I, I think we actually talked like that. Like seven douche or ten douche? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we talked <laughs> the numbers. Douche are you <laughs> I was like, I gotta make sure I bring. I mean, it was up there. It was. I mean, it was up there. I saw. I mean, you can see. I was like, you know what? He's got a douche inside of him. We can just get it right needs to be pulled out. It's just neat. Thank you. I appreciate that. Because yeah. honestly, I walk around with such an ego now. You, right? <laughs> You're like, I know. Oh, my God. Like, I know I have this now. Um, I have this in me. Yeah. Another thing directing-wise, because obviously I love to talk about that, the vision and stuff like that, the colors. Mm-hmm. Um, with the prism and then the reds and the spooky. That was all, that, most of that was Ben. So did you know you wanted it to start focusing in like that? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, yeah. So And then did you talk with Ben? Ben, yes. um, yeah, director yeah, of photography, yeah, Ben, ben So I gave... I gave Ben my visual idea, and Ben brought it to life and then added a little extra, mm. you know, because Ben, ben had uh, brought his own equipment, brought his own crew, and uh, they were all hilarious. <laughs> great, great people to work Super funny guys. Oh, yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, it's one of those situations where you, you kind of tell them exactly what you're thinking, and you need to get that extra perspective. Mm. You know, like one brain on this film, one, one, you know, one set of eyes on the film is not really going to show you exactly all yes. the possibilities you can get. Because when you first read the thing, that's the thing that, that's the same conversation I had with Luke. Mm-hmm. When he first wrote the thing, he had one thing in mind. Yep. Right? But what he had in mind, we might not be able to fulfill in the bars that we have and the lights that we have. And, and so I'm reading it and I'm fleshing it out into these settings, but I'm not really realizing it as far as the equipment we have and not realizing how much more we can add to it. Mm. And that's where Ben's brilliance came in. Yeah, Ben yeah. Heald is an incredible yeah, local, I mean, just an all-around good dude. Yeah, Ben's, Ben's um, amazing. He's probably the most relaxed DP I've ever worked with, Yeah, but he gets things done efficient, you know what I mean, efficiently. Yeah. Um, he literally is just like, okay. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's, he's like, like processes yeah. it just yeah. internally, just okay. You're like, you know what, I kind of want to change up something. Is that going to mess you up? He's like, nah. Nah, we'll figure got, it out. Yeah, we, yeah. Got, we, we good. always figure it out. Sounds good. Yeah. He um, did pull that crystal out though, out of nowhere. Yes. He's like, I have an idea. And he was just like, what? Like, That's yeah, gorgeous. the prism. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. That pretty cool transitions. Yeah, cool. Um, did you guys have any questions or anything that you wanted to? I, I was curious about something. Was Were you, it was, was the bar that you're in when you with, with with the witch was that like a place of supernatural creatures was that what we was getting at because it almost seemed like people are like going around and like <laughs> and like talking like looking at you like who's this dude where like in town like a tourist is very but it's almost like you got sucked into a trap like a spider yeah. you know uh, yeah. and that's the that's kind of feeling because everyone's looking at you very strangely yep. and they seem to know he stepped yeah. he stepped into the real thing yeah the real thing and that's why face crushers in the in the background. You yeah, know? <gasps> I don't exactly. even know if I think I noticed that. Oh yeah, There's he's the one when he's like, "Oh, muscle mad man." Oh my god, muscle someone do me a favor man. and look back. Can we like? <laughs> that's why they Lucas shout out in the beginning, baby. Yeah, yeah, cool. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, because yeah. it, it was just like it seemed like I was like, okay, this seems to be because you go from doing this like the social media and all these places, and all of a sudden the yes. mood changes. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. And it's and so I was like, it wasn't it wasn't a significant mood shift, but enough where I was like, oh, what's gonna it's happen? It's Almost yeah. like one of those. It's like how I felt knowing that they were monsters in real Salem, and this yeah. was where they all hung out. Like, yeah. I mean, as the character, I was oblivious to it, but yeah. as the actor, it was great to know that the, it felt different. Like mm-hmm. I could tell that it was different, mm-hmm. yeah. um, and it allowed me to play more into, "Ooh, this place yeah. is so serious." Because a lot of the phone stuff was improvised. Yeah. Um, but I got that by just thinking to myself, like, "Ooh, wow, they take it so serious here." Yeah. <laughs> like, look at all them because I, because you could sense that there was definitely something like yeah. in the air. Yeah. Well, I mean. I mean, that's that's also kind of the beauty of when we when we came up with those opening shots of doing them all during the day, even though it just happens that way. Yep. When it when you shift into that bar scene, all of a sudden it's boom, it's nighttime. Shh. It's not daytime anymore yeah. for you. Yeah. And did you say you did you? Yeah, have yeah, one? yeah. Uh, so you know, I mean, I know that fear. And Kyle, this might be more of a question for you. Fear is definitely something <coughs> played with in this film. Were there any real moments that you might have felt some strong fear? <laughs> Perhaps that maybe fear of um, the director, fear of the director, fear of things that you might have had to do. Um, on you know, kind of scary. Yeah, any moments that you would care to share with uh, the yeah, couches in one hundred percent party. Although you might be a scary guy, Hallie might be scary. All the, there is nothing more scary than that spider. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, yes. am, I am. I am not uh, Harriet. Uh, Harriet. Harriet the spider. Yeah, Harriet. I uh, I am afraid of spiders um, all day long because I knew that the end of the scene no, is supposed to is supposed to like crawl towards me on the table, um, and then right before like the tape goes up, I was informed that if it gets a little freaked out, uh-huh. it might scurry too fast off the table. And I had to be the one to catch it. 
<laughs> so you are you are so still. We're so all so still <laughs> so watching it, but also as the, like I was like, well, I'm gonna have to face my fear, and so finally I was able to. Like, I was like, I just gotta get over with. We gotta hold it, Kyle, because like I don't want to be responsible for Harriet's oh death. Yeah. I gotta be ah. the hero. I gotta save the spider. Yeah. And honestly. It was awesome. Yeah. The little thing was like, it would like, you could awesome. actually like, kind of like sunk yeah. itself in and like you could tell that it was loving the pets and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I would never in my life, I, the, the little spiders in houses still, no, 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 no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm still, they're, they're trying to be different though. They have like really like d defined personalities. Yeah, and I would never have assumed that it would have confusing. such a, a personality like that. Oh, yeah. So, although yeah. I overcame my fear that day, yeah. specifically for Harriet, I still do not Bring spiders around me, please. Um, I, they're they're to me the creepiest like creatures on planet. Earth. So for me, for me, I, I, I being you know a stone person, uh, I don't want to subject you to anything I wouldn't do myself, mm. right? And so I'm also horrified of spiders. I've never had even touched a tarantula. Never wanted to touch a tarantula. <laughs> never even wanted to visit Australia. Nothing against Australia. <laughs> yes, yes, Australia, yes. I'm sure it's lovely this yes. time of year, but um. Yeah, yeah, so I, I had to hold Harriet too. And Makes sense. Absolutely adorable. And then afterwards, Nikki tells us, hey, still venomous. Yes. Still very venomous. <laughs> Just letting you know. But, you know, I know you're holding her right now. But yeah, it was like still fun. venomous. It was so funny because all day, all day long, <laughs> Nikki, like, Nikki cool. would see me doing this. Yeah, just staring at it. Just like walking by and like I got closer to the tank and like, okay, I see you, yeah. we're, we're going to be intimate later on, yeah. like I'm going to have to, like, <laughs> oh, like, yeah. like intimate, if that's intimate first, yeah. that's, come that's on. Fair, fair. Yeah, so if you're not yeah. used to that, that's yeah. so far, that's the worst thing look back yeah. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> Whoa. No, dude, yeah. Um... Well, that was interesting. Thanks. Still terrifying though. Yeah, yeah, no, um, and then also, what was it like filming in downtown Salem? That was pretty awesome. We, we filmed a lot in Salem, yeah. you know what I mean? With the, yeah. the footage of the phone, yeah. all. Yeah. How was that for you? Oh, it's, it's amazing. I, I love this town. You yeah. Know, I've, I've lived here for about five years now, and I'm still fascinated about, you know, you turn a corner and you see something you never expect. Mm. You know, and, and where I'm from, you... And where are you from? <laughs> from, uh, from? I'm from New Orleans. Okay. Yeah, or just north of New Orleans and Alabama. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, you walk around, all, my, my hometown was all warehouses, you know, stuff would be, you get a hurricane, everything's leveled, you know, mm. flooded, so you have to have buildings that are just, you know, so I'm not used to just walking around and seeing, it. I, when I first came here, I felt like it was Disney's Frontierland. <laughs> like, I was like, what, what if I turn in, like, it's a unique little city. pastel colors, and it's in, it was snowing when I came here, it was mm. gorgeous, you know, I, so I, I saw it when people say it's at its worst, but I loved it, Yeah, you know, I've been in love with it ever since, so being able to, to walk around and film here is, it's, it's like a dream, you know, I just get to, yeah. I love it here. Yeah, it's, you're right in the heart of it where you live, too. You're, yeah, you're the downtown. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. you're downtown, so it. you get to experience that. Yep, it's, and I get to be, I get to hide away from the tourists, too. Tucked in, yeah, do you yeah. go out in October? Like, we of course. Don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't. No. I, have a, I have a big problem. I, <laughs> <laughs> I have a big problem with people, with people watching. I love people watching. Mm, I do, too. And that's like the part of the directors, you're like watching and you're like, what? wonder what they're going through. You know, you're yes. something doing something else, you see, you know. You're trying and, to figure out the story. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Or you're creating a made up one in your head, you know, and it's probably yeah. horrible and it's probably a little <laughs> psychopathic or whatever, but it's a lot of fun and you know, so it's you know, and there's no time better to do it when you have a million plus people over Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, well, I know that you directed the Witchbridge Street EP, both in the horror genre and stuff like that. Do you have any other projects that you're kind of working on, working towards? Are they horror related or not horror related? Uh, I have I have a couple horror related. I have a one one that's like a uh, let's call it a suspenseful romance. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that one's gonna be fun. That okay. one's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I'm hoping to get uh, I'm hoping to get that one done started. I'm hoping to get all of these started in January. Okay. No, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's coming up. Yep. Is there? Is so obviously, I can tell by the way you you don't want to reveal too much and stuff well, like I mean, that. No, which is fine. Yeah. Of course, I get it completely. But is there something that you like to focus on in your storytelling? Is there something specific? It's all that, characters. Okay. It's it's so kind of like how was, it's kind of like how I was talking about the witch. You know, I yep. need I need I need three dimensions there. Yep. Mm. You can't just have you can't have generic either. So mm -hmm. you you can't just have someone who's like oh she's. A goth, and that's just good enough. Yes, you know there has to be some background there. I have to. There's got to be depth there, and if there isn't, it's not going to work for me. No, you know, I have yeah. to flesh it out. Yeah, and that's the beauty of what you did with Mick, is you added these levels and you added these layers without knowing much of his history. You know, we we know how insecure Mick is, mm -hmm. right? And we know how much he hides that. Yes, right, and mm -hmm. how strong he comes on hiding that. Yes, right, um, and unfortunately, he just walks into the spider's web. 
Yeah, he definitely walks into the spider web. That is, uh, he got what he asked for, though. I he think did. that was the easiest part of that role to grasp was the fact that the objective was so clear. Yeah. It was clear what I wanted. It's mm -hmm. stated. It's cockroach. like <laughs> said it a yeah. times. I say it a million times. I want times. to be a cockroach. I knew it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's actually the underlying. The subtext. underlying thing is you always yeah. just yeah. wanted side objective. Yeah. yeah, it's the subtext of the situation. Yeah. But it was more for like the clout. It was like it doesn't even matter that it was like who it was. It was just like I did it, and that's what it was. Like, yeah. Yeah, and the funny thing is, is my backstory was that I had like twelve followers. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but that is a like twelve out. strong faithful following. Awesome three of them are bots, at least. Yeah, yeah. you got to have three of them. Yeah, um, bots. But I'm gonna let. People. I have to go to the bathroom. So if you want to just chat amongst yourself or ask, sure. ask, uh, yeah. you can ask me a few sure. questions. Well, I have to go to the bathroom. Some middle, party. While we're, while we're in the middle of something, you just gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. Yeah, I can't. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're the. Yeah. I mean, I'll stay if you no, want. No, to stay. No, 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 go for it. Might be everywhere. I don't want to you. This, well, now it's just getting weird. Go. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now you're, now you're okay. Talk about too much. Yeah. Just go. So let's just talk about something that's not him having to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie. Yes. Uh. Well, this week it's Blade. Ah, oh, um, this week, nice. I just, I just love Wesley Snipes. Okay. Because, I mean, he's amazing. I mean, Tuong Fu, The oh, Blade, God, The Versatility. Tuong Fu is amazing. I love that movie. He's hilarious. That movie is so funny. Completely different direction. Happy Feet. Close. Okay. It's actually really close. Yeah. New Jack City. Oh, that's New just Jack like City. Happy Feet. Which is just like Happy yeah, Feet, might as well be a only with Wesley Snipes in this one. <laughs> and then also... Going, circling I, back to Wesley Snipes. Yeah, yeah, well, you got me on, a, on an idea. Like, yeah. there's New Jack City, but then also White Men Can't Jump is definitely yeah. one of my favorites of all yeah. time. Yeah. I do have a question about The Witch. Was was it, like, uh, inspired by, like, the Cersei? Uh, like, the Roman, like, the Greek Lanister? goddess? No, we're not Lannister, you ding dong. Oh! <laughs> did I just hear somebody say witch? <laughs> ah, Mix at the Slumber Party. Welcome to the Slumber Party, everyone. This is Mix Slumber Party now, baby. Oh. So, I heard there was a Slumber Party cinema show going around and that there was a witch and that these guys here can show me where the witches are. <laughs> you know where the witches? You know where the witches? Not here. He doesn't know. Wait, wait, wait. Somebody <laughs> needs to get Kyle. Wait a second. Yeah. Come on I now. Can't. Tell me, where are the witches? What is going on with what? What 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 is? What, are you are you Mick? Mick knows. <laughs> Mick knows. Is this me? The witches? Yeah, this is Mick. Who, what are you talking about right now? Who else would I be? Oh. I don't know what's going around in this. Uh, I think everyone here is probably a little cursed. Maybe they're under the witch's spell because they're acting a little strange. Like they don't know who Mick is. Everybody knows who Mick is. Come on Why now. Did you not? And what is going on? I'm one of the twelve. I don't even know. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna have to uh, shut this off for a little bit. Maybe I'll turn you back on in a second because I'm looking right now and I'm wondering. What kind of slumber party is this? It's just dudes. Yeah. Where's the witches? Where's the witches? I came here because I thought I was going to find a sexy witch. I don't know. It's fine no. with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is going on? I said it's fine with me. Fine with me. Jeez. Okay. Here we go. Let me just turn this off. Let's have a real conversation for a second. What's going on? Where's the witches? It's good to see you again, man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, we'll been what, almost two years now. Yeah, it's two years. That's been a long time. I was away kind of being a little cockroach. Thankfully, I got a little boom. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I thought you got, got, got squished. How did you get unsquished, yeah. actually? Tell us about that. You, you got better. Popcorn, maybe? Don't take some popcorn. Yeah, take some popcorn. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah, that's but, great. Uh, he probably hasn't eaten human food. Oh, no, he's eating Well, food. I need to know. Well, food. yeah, how did you get unsquished, and then how did you not become a cockroach? So, when I got squished, I was gone, and I didn't know what was going on, and then all of a sudden, I remember just waking up, and I was like, I'm back to a human being. It's crazy. I think it's a Salem spell. You know what? I know. That is that is the most elaborate explanation I've ever heard in my life, and I think it's 100% scientifically accurate. I don't <laughs> even know if I just <laughs> Everything I say is 100% scientifically 100%. accurate. It's, it's like Salem's 1477. Everybody knows Everybody that the town knows. was built in 1477. If you don't know, you now know because Mick knows. <laughs> Mick knows everything. Thousands of witches out there dead. Thousands, and thousands in that cemetery. Shot. Yeah. What, what are you I can't. About? I can't believe that Mick is here. Mick is here right now. Now, nah, of course, Mick is here. Look at. I miss. I miss Mick. I really. I don't know what's going on. Let me just say goodbye to my followers and stuff like that. Are you, are you still having the slumber party? Should we wrap up the slumber party? Because uh, the I'm from... slumber party is wrapped up for you, my friend. You are, you are more than welcome to let your followers know that the slumber party is over for you and you can head on yeah. out. We're going to the slumber part of this party. You're kicking yeah. me out? No, 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 no. We're all just, we're the party, you know, you are the party, but the party, you know, you said you were about to go. So oh, like... come on right now. Yeah, so the slumber you know party's going to follow you. I don't want to be at this slumber party anyways because hey, Mick Baby is going to find himself a sexy witch. So guess what? To everyone watching the slumber party, Mick knows. Now you know. All right, everyone. I'll see you soon. Let's go get those witches. Oh, witches.
bitches! You know, he did not learn his lesson. <laughs> I don't condone I like any of the behavior that you just saw there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that was. I liked him better as a tiny bug. I uh, quite. I, 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 well, I, I want to be it. there when he gets turned into a bug next, so I'm just going to go. Uh, that could be the next party. I'm going to. Oh, that is the next party. Let's, <laughs> let's go watch him get turned into a bug. <laughs> Did you bring the, the, the witch? We can go find her. All right. Give her a call. Her on my phone. <laughs> See him. Oh, all right, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to a Slumber Party Cinema Show. It's another episode we have here. I'll see you later. Again, I'm going to follow them. We're going to go find some witches. Slumber Party Cinema is out. Nick, get over here.